Goldsmithery is truly an art. The goldsmith traditionally worked in gold, silver and other precious metals. Currently, besides these metals, some alloys such as bronze, copper, etc. are used. The craftsman should design, draw and have knowledge of architecture and sculpture to capture the forms that he or she imagines. Beautiful and harmonious objects are created through traditional techniques of chasing, hammering, polishing, glazing, engraving and on occasions gemstones are crimped into jewellery items. One of the most important Spanish goldsmiths of the 20th century was Fernando Marmalejo Camargo whose studio was donated to the Museum of Popular Arts and Traditions of Seville. I transform my dreams into matter. His work has achieved a remarkable reputation for the reproduction of goldsmithery for some museums such as the Tesoro del Carambolo in the Archaeological Museum of Seville, the Tesoro de Guarazar in the National Archaeological Museum, or the Tesoro de las Cambayas in the Museo de América. Throughout his life he also made liturgical pieces such as goblets, chalices, tabernacles, altar fronts, reliquaries, and others targeted at the processions of different confraternities such as pedestals, jars, crowns, dressing, etc. The splendor and richness of the civilian goldsmithery has been linked to religious devotion and to the importance of Easter. The school or guild of goldsmiths ran from the 13th century until the late 18th century with lots of workshops from which came silverware appreciated and sold all over Europe and America. Currently, in the 21st century, goldsmithery workshops are still maintained and contribute to the splendor of this beautiful art.